Hello and welcome to the Shoot to Mouse Advanced Tutorial. Let's take a look at what we're going to be learning here. I have my little character. He can shoot to the mouse. And I'm going to move him over to this turret. Let's go inside. There we go. Awesome. So there are a couple of things happening here that are untraditional from other shoot to mouse tutorials. We have a recoil effect when I shoot from the cannon and we also have a gun flash out the end of the barrel as well as a timed explosive and a limit in shooting. So a shooting delay. And let's see how we put these together. Because this tutorial is more advanced, it's going to be hard to explain everything, and I'm just going to go through a rundown of the different things that you'll find in this tutorial. Uh, as you notice, there are different graphics, and this is the shoot to mouse tutorial, if you open that. There are different graphics and sounds preloaded into this, but these are copyrighted, and permission was given to use them for this tutorial only so don't put them in your own games well with the graphics there is one thing I want you to know with the turret top itself which is separate from the turret bottom it is facing to the right which you can learn in the transforming sprites tutorial and why it's important to do that to get this to work properly but in this case I also made it an animation which gives it that recoil effect when I shoot the animation plays when it reaches its end, it loops back to frame 1 and freezes. And that way the animation doesn't keep playing and playing and playing. And you'll have to look on the code to see how I do this. To get the crosshair to follow the mouse, I use a simple command in the step event, jump to. And it's jumping to mouse underscore x, mouse underscore y. Pretty simple. I'm pretty sure you know that. If you notice in the turret top, I have different variables I'm using. I'm having gun weight to control the time by which you can shoot. And I'm using facing, which controls the turret top in which direction it faces. If you look in the step event, you'll notice how all this works. And I'm going to be writing out help comments to help you un understand in case there is any confusion. The one, the next, the one cool thing in this whole tutorial is the cannon flash. When you shoot the cannon, there is a flash at the end. But also, the flash is told to point to the nearest turret top. Now, this is a more advanced code, and it's not necessary for one turret. But if you were to have 30 turrets in the world, and you were to shoot at one, or control many and shoot at all of them at the same time, this tells the flash which cannon to appear at and how to properly face the right direction. And just to show you how that works, let's add a couple more turrets here. And let's run. All right. As you'll notice, everything, every cannon is facing the, the crosshair correctly. <laughs> awesome. That is cool. As you noticed, every flash is appearing next to the correct turret, and it's not skewed or it's not angled incorrectly. So that's pretty cool. And that's what you're going to be learning. I hope you can take a look at this and understand how, how this all works. In later tutorials, I'm going to be showing you how to make the turrets AI controlled, which is really cool and everything will work properly with that too. Alright, take care.